I've only allowed storyboarding uh, in very, very difficult sequences where other departments have to be on the same page as I am, uh, or as the, the film demands. Uh, special effects, uh, scenes involving uh, elements from different departments and, and, and uh, contributors so that they get a sense of where we all are at the same time. But I generally hate storyboarding because... Uh, so it's just between you and the, and the DP when you're on set? Yeah, but it's also between me and the actors, most importantly. Mm -hmm. um, storyboarding suggests that you have everything already preconceived in your head. Uh, Hitchcock was famous for storyboarding everything. He knew precisely where the actor was going to stand. He knew exactly what the actor was going to say, etc. And in his case, you know, he made it work for him. He was quite good at uh, in getting away with that. And he had actors who kind of fit into that kind of a discipline. But you can't do that very much with, with actors who have been trained to dig into material, dig into their character needs, uh, work for the richness of an inner life. Uh, if, if you you arbitrarily block everything out in your mind to know exactly what you're going to do, too objective, too, too mechanical. So I stay loose. I prepare impeccably in terms of what the possibilities are. And I even lay out scenes and camera angles and whatnot, but I leave it on the side and test it with the actors and the camera uh, and throw out what doesn't work so that I, in effect, I'm improvising on top of my preparation because it works out that way from what I'm being fed by the actor or from the set. You don't always know what the set's going to look like uh, until you get there. Or the, the, the dresser may put additional wonderful elements in the set that you didn't count on. Those elements can feed you a motivation for using them. Well, you can't do that at home in the, in the happy little confines of your, of your computer room. <laughs> you know? So the less, sh well, and by the way, this takes in shot lists, a habit that I simply cannot understand any director wanting to lean on. But I guess it's a, it's a security blanket for a lot of guys. Storyboarding is second cousin to shot lists. Because again, in order to make a shot list, you have to know precisely, you have had to already preconceive something that you're gonna to stick to. No matter what the actress says or does or whatever the contribution is, you're gonna to stick to that shot list. Well, that makes for a lot of very mechanical, very, very dull kind of work for the most part.